All right, we're going to carry on in this video as part two for creating a graphical user interface. The in-class exercise that we are about to attempt is um, designing um, and coding an application um, that's going to display Hello World in a variety of ways. So that's the application that we want to write. So if you reflect back to the textbook and think back, um, and I'll just bring up that page right here, is that the what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop a, a computer program and there's a logical uh, program development cycle that we want to do and the step number one is to understand the prob the program's purpose what is it supposed to do and then from there it's, we design the program you, uh, GUI then we design the, the program's logic and then we write the code we check the syntax and debug it and then we test it and make sure that it all works before we send it out. And then we go back and look at that again. So then we have to say, is that the correct purpose? And we might have to do, to redesign. We might have to look at the logic again. We might have to rewrite the code and so on. So it's a bit of a cycle that goes over and over to do that. Now, to get started, um, the problem that we want it to accomplish here is we have a form. That's this right here. And on the form, we have a lot of different controls. And how it works is that when I click that first button, it displays Hello World, it outputs. So when I click this um, uh, button, the event, I when I click it, it says Hello World again, just another way of writing that. And then we have another way of doing it where if I click it, it actually displays in the button. And then finally, if I click on the cat's face or the picture, a little message box pops up and says Meow Meow. It's cat for Hello World. All right, and then I click on clear and it resets the form. So that's understanding how the program is supposed to work. That is understanding the program's purpose. And that's how you know I, I run these classes is I, I give you the actual program. You get to play with it, understand how it works before we go to stage two, which is designing the program. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through the steps of how to design that program. So to get started, we, what we need to do is on the form itself is um, look at the properties of that form to, to duplicate what we want the form to behave. So the first thing you notice is the size of the form is not the same size. So I can grab that handle, I can size it down and bring that up. And that's pretty close. And again, the design really isn't that much of a concern as long as the purpose and the functionality is working. So the next thing we want to do is at the top it says chapter 2 Ryan Caldwell. Now where am I going to get that? How am I going to enter that in? It says form 1. Well if I click on the object, I remember I go over to the properties and I've got all sorts of properties here and the property I want to change is called the text of that form. So I don't want it to say form 1, I want it to say um, chapter 2 and I'm going to get everybody to always put in your name so we can identify your, yours. And as soon as I push enter, watch what happens up here. So when I push enter, it changes to chapter 2, Ryan Caldwell. So I change the property. Another thing I could do here to, to help mimic the design, so there's the design here, is you can see that the background color here is gray by default, but I want blue. So that's a property. So you have to go through the list and you say, well, oh, background color is right there, and currently it's gray. So I'm going to pull down the list and select a color. I like to use uh, this sort of a light blue, but you guys could use any color you want to do that. All right, so from there, you can see how we're starting to make the design changes to imic, imitate that. So we're designing this. And again, you could pick any color you really want here. I could do yellow, and that's fine as well. All right, so that gives us um, the, the start of how to select an object and how to modify its properties. And we'll be modifying properties throughout the course now. So you need to know where to go and to do that. All right, so I'm going to stop there, and in the next video, we'll take a look at the toolbox.